last week, uh, at the last minute, I got a phone call from Max Rogue, a sweetheart of a guy, a good friend of mine, and um, his whole family is awesome, quite frankly. He called and asked if um, if I was available for the next few days for work, uh, which I made time for it because it was uh, working on wrapping out a TV show on the Culver Studios lot, which was this place I've been wanting to go to for the longest time. And it's uh, it's this lot opened in 1918 by Thomas Ince, uh, a guy that was, put, well, likely killed by William Randolph Hearst, whose ghost haunts the Culver Studios now. Uh, I'm sure there's a handful of other ghost stories. If you have any, let me know. But additionally to Thomas Ince and the fact that this is this really old, classic Hollywood uh, back lot, this is where Gone with the Wind was shot. Uh, a scene from It's a Wonderful Life was shot there. The, there's so many movies, including Beetlejuice, one of the great horror comedies of all time, maybe the greatest. And uh, the the stage I was working on was the stage that they shot, um, oh, a little thing called Wizard of Oz on. How awesome is that? I talk about this on the in the bus tour. Again, have you bought your ticket yet? It's LAHauntings.com. Come on, people. Uh, I talk about this on the tour that everybody looks at L.A., as did I, absolutely as did I, as this super modern town where there's nothing historic. I, I love the line from L.A. Story Steve Martin says as he's giving his tour of L.A. where he says, some of these houses are over 30 years old. Because it, it feels like everything is fresh and new and, and shiny and polished. But reality, there's a lot from yesteryear here. Obviously, we're not talking about England, where, where there's castles dating back to the 1200s. But still, 1918, not too shabby, Los Angeles. And, and there really are way more buildings out here than you would guess that, that date back to that period, maybe even older. Our tour starts out at Pueblo de Los Angeles. So the, the first home in Los Angeles whose roof is tarred with tar from the La Brea tar pits, uh, that still stands. And, and that's a place that we go on our tour but the, that whole area is amazingly historic, and there's some of the first buildings ever built in California. So there's there, there's more to L.A. than the last 30, 40 years. So Sally Rogers writes uh, on my video about uh, the Black Dahlia sightings. By the way, I'm about to watch the Black Dahlia Hollywood movie with Josh Hartnett and Scarlett Johansson. Uh, I'm not expecting much out of it because it's such a mysterious case. It's, it could only be a video about or a movie about one of the many theories. So there's no way you could really paint the picture unless you're just going to talk about Elizabeth Short's life up until the moment she disappeared. But I'm sure that's not what the video is. It's got her slashed face on the cover, so I'm sure it goes through the murder and then the, uh, the botched um, investigation that followed. But anyway, so Sally Rogers writes that, well, this is weird, uh, that she thinks uh, Elizabeth Short is now an Onyro, O-N-Y-R-O. Onyro is a woman that was murdered horribly by someone she trusted. I actually did research this uh, a bit before. It goes into being a, well, obviously, clearly Asian-influenced uh, ghost, someone that is back and is angry. Uh, I don't know why this uh, Miss Sally is making that leap. Um, it's, it's interesting, you know, she says this is a murder horribly, which check mark by someone she trusted. Uh, I mean, maybe we don't really know. I mean, everybody that she trusted was really, really grilled and it seems to be more of a random encounter. Um, someone that she knew not very well, I think probably had the best chance. 